All right, so here we go. The guys from Volterra are all set up. So this is Volterra. You have six minutes. Uh, you guys are the last one, so you have to make this one count. All right, let's get started. All right, good afternoon. <laughs> we are incredibly excited to be here at the Battlefield Finals, and we love hardware. But I got to say, building hardware sucks. You see, one of the biggest problems we all face is circuit board prototyping. Circuit boards run every electronic device from your car opener to your thermostat, camera, and even your smartphone. Factories around the world spit out tens of thousands of them every single day, which is great for mass manufacturing, but earlier in the development cycle, when you just need a couple boards for prototyping, it's an absolute nightmare to deal with. Most designers outsource fabrication to facilities in China, pay a couple hundred dollars, and wait two weeks for delivery. When the boards finally arrive, they realize they made a mistake. So they pay a couple hundred dollars and wait two weeks again. In that time, the product requirements have changed. So now they're back to waiting for weeks and on and on. A while back, I was working on a do-it-yourself project and decided to just make the board myself. I had barely gotten started before I got kicked out of the house and into the garage because as a hobbyist on a budget, the only way I could create that board was a tedious etching process that required toxic and corrosive chemicals. Over the past year, we've built a better solution. A printer that can create a circuit board in the time it takes to go get lunch. The user can design their circuit in whatever software they're already comfortable with. And then, as my co-founder Jesus is about to show us, they just press print. So while that's working, let's take a look at a couple videos of the printer in action. Our technology uses a silver nanoparticle conductive ink to create the, the electrical traces. Let's say you have a brand new idea and need a quick prototype, or are looking to get into electronics but realize the cost of making mistakes is just too high. Well, a rapid prototyping tool can make a huge difference. We're also the only prototyping tool on the market that allows you to print multi-layer circuits. We sandwich an insulating material between the conductive layers, allowing you to create even more complex boards. And once you're finally past the prototyping stage, you'd normally find yourself spending hours adding components to the dozens of boards you've got ordered to build up some beta units or uh, for some final testing. With the Volterra V1, just toss them onto the printer and it'll even dispense solder paste and bake the board for you. We're going to be launching via pre-orders uh, this winter, and our customers will be able to purchase replacement ink cartridges and substrates directly through our website. We're not trying to replace mass manufacturing, just help people get there faster and save huge costs along the way. But let's take that a step further. If you owned a business, how would you feel knowing you were paying your engineers to wait for the FedEx truck rather than building product? We live in a world where a company's agility determines its success. So to us, the choice between lead times of two weeks or just 60 minutes is an easy one to make. We've talked to engineers from large tech companies, hardware startups, and the academic and hobbyist community. They all agree that hardware developers need a faster way to prototype electronics. But more importantly, they were so excited about what they could do with this new freedom. The larger businesses can protect against IP infringement by keeping all the new development in-house, and it's our goal to put a printer on every one of their designers' desks. One of our old professors at the University of Waterloo wants to print experimental RFID tags and antennas. Our friends at other hardware startups would have used this to get to their minimum viable product much faster than before. We've talked to product designers that want to put our printer beside their 3D printer for truly rapid prototyping. And the hobbyists, they just want to build custom Arduinos and Raspberry Pis. The rapid prototyping market is expected to reach almost $5 billion by 2018, quadrupling from today's numbers. Now, that started with 3D printers, but with the growing demand for electronics from users like these, we believe that circuit prototyping will also drive that trend. Our entire team has just returned from a four-month stay in Shenzhen, China, through the Hexcelerator's hardware program. While there, we immersed ourselves in the world of 
manufacturing, supply chain, certifications, and we're able to transform our Frankenstein of a prototype into something that we're truly proud of. But what amazed us the most was that even in the electronics capital of the world, the fastest we could get a board turned around was two days. With our printer, you need less than two hours. We're going to be launching pre-orders soon, so if you're interested in getting an early bird unit, sign up on our website to be the first to know. With Volterra, if you need custom circuits, just press print. Thank you. Perfect. Under time. Perfect. What was that 3D printer you were showing there? Yeah. That was like some kind of monstrosity. That was <laughs> it's an embarrassment. Uh, it, in that case, I'm not going to say. Did you, make, did you make that yourself? Or was no, that? no, that was uh, one of our buddies' uh, 3D printers. All right, so it was handmade. It wasn't like it was. It was supposed to look Might like that. Might have been a kit. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, good. Well, so you have to get him a 3D maker bot. Yeah. All right. He's hey, um, <laughs> good job on the presentation. Thank you. Yeah. Nice presentation. You got some good refinements on the product. It looks Thank good. You. Thank you. Um, and I think it's a it's a really useful product. I mean, I I could have I could order one right now. My guys in my office definitely need a couple of those. So, <laughs> good job. Thank you. What's the difference between what you're doing and what uh, Voxel Eight is doing? So Voxel is uh, they are embedding electronics within 3D printed objects, which is definitely really really cool. Um, but we're trying to approach it from a more traditional sense of you know you're actually trying to create traditional electronics um, that you know could eventually be put into a 3D printed object or used on its own. And so what they're doing is very innovative, um, but we're not sure if the market is just there for it yet. But we know that people are creating circuit boards, you know, millions of them a day. So um, that's where we're trying to focus. A any issue with the certification of product after it's made, or um, no? So we're going to be getting uh, FCC and C, um, and we're going to be working on that uh, as soon as we enter manufacturing in a few months. Um, but we've had it looked over by certification facilities and UL and a few people, and it seems fine. In America as well, not just yeah. not just Asia. So I, I'm I'm curious why if you're if you're touting the concept that you don't have to go to Shenzhen to make your boards, why did you go to Shenzhen to make your printer? So. We're trying to make it easy for people to make circuit boards, but it's still a little bit difficult to make full products. And so we were there as part of the Accelerators, uh, Accelerators Hardware uh, Accelerator Program. Um, and so it came with a little bit of investment, a lot of resources, and we're going to be manufacturing the majority of our parts in Shenzhen, but assembling in North America. You're not worried about that IP loss yourself? No, I mean, we know that this is going to get knocked off. That's like that's part of the game. Uh, where our real benefit is, is in all of the amazing software that Jesus has written to run this and convert the Gerber files, because that's what we take as input, um, into something that the machine can use and do the multi-layer, everything for you. It's in the ink formulation that's custom for our uh, product and the printhead that we've designed ourselves for this, um, as well as uh, you know a few other things in the process uh, side of things. Okay. A little bit to, to Jenny's point, the, the, the big question for all of those is, okay, you got Voxel 8, you got the X1, it's a booming space, how do you avoid commoditization, commoditization in, you know, two years from now, are you, are you going to be building a Singiverse type community on top to create a moat, how, how do you think about this? Yeah, uh, there's definitely a lot of opportunities um, in that. Uh, right now, we're just focusing on building a really strong product that our customers can use and really fit their need, and that's been a, you know, a year and a half of customer interviews and um, making a lot of changes based on the feedback we got. Eventually, yeah, we're, we're really hoping to be able to build some sort of community around this and have people sharing circuit designs, a whole open source uh, community of, of shared designs we're looking to partner with uh, the CAD tools themselves because you know they have a great uh, need for a product like this because more people prototyping the more people are using their products as well as the manufacturing facilities that we are uh, trying to you know avoid people to go to during their prototyping they don't want to be doing low volume production runs because that cuts into their profit margins so you know even partnering with them and say hey you know tell people to use our printer we'll send them to you to do their mass manufacturing run you know it's a the entire upstream and downstream, there's a lot of partnership opportunities. What do you think? You guys went over my head with this one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This is a little bit more for this. It's okay. It's yeah. pretty cool. I got support. Jimmy's with me. <laughs> so the uh, so the, the two-dimensional, there's a, those are little risers, right? They go over the they go over the other, 
over the if the machine places those little two dimensional thingamajiggers, little risers. Three dimensional, three dimensional. For, three for the, uh, yeah. the multi layer? Yeah, for the multi layer. Yeah, so it's actually so simple to use the product. You're going to get three of these cartridges one of conductive ink, one of uh, the insulating ink, and one of the solder paste. Uh, you just snap them on, it'll print out the conductive layer. Software will say, switch it to the insulator, take it off, pop the new one on, print out the insulator, take it, and take it off, put the conductive one back on, print the top, you know you're what? ready to go. It's not over my head, and I can do that before I can clean my pool. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're good. It's, it's, it's fun. Yeah. All right, super. You made it a lot simpler than cleaning the pool. Yeah. Yeah. And plus, all this stuff's online, so you can learn how to do it pretty quickly. Yeah. I'm trying to teach my kids, and they're not, uh, they're, they just want to play Minecraft. Yeah, you know, this is a tool that I wish I had in high school, because I would have gotten into the STEM field and gotten, I mean, I, I did get into it eventually, but I wish I, that was instilled in me earlier. And I know a lot of people uh, feel the same way about their children. So um, that's something that we're planning on doing down the road. Super. Cool. So that's it. Wow. Thank you very much, guys. Voltero. Thank you. Thank you. What's the website? Uh, Voltero.io. Voltero.io. All right.